Hey, it's Matthew here from Praise Charts with another Reason tutorial video, Loops Part 2. Now just a quick recap, from Loops Part 1 we learned a couple of keyboard shortcuts for setting our left and right loop markers. And to review, it's option click brings our left loop marker to wherever we're pointing up here in our timeline. And that snaps right into place on our grid based on the value we have set in our snap function. And then for our right loop marker, it's simply command click. Again, I'm on a Mac keyboard. Now new in reason five is this blocks feature. And what this allows us to do is to give a header to our sequence or window here and color code every piece of our song or every block that is that builds these tracks. And you can see how nice that looks as we scroll up and down in our sequence or window that stays in place and uh, is always there as a, as a great reference. So with the use of blocks, I'd like to show you another great way to set your loops um, that is even better than setting both your left and right loop markers separately. Um, let's scroll down here. Let's say this chorus right here uh, is giving us some trouble. We need to spend some time there in rehearsal. And so you just want to play that chorus over and over. Well, simply grab the block marked chorus and hit command L and check it out. Both your left and right loop markers snap right into place and are ready to go. This is very nice. Um, so again, any, any piece of the song you want to do that with, here's our instrumental slash worship part, uh, command L, there it is. And you're ready to loop that and do uh, whatever you want. Um, now this also works down here in with our note clips. You can grab a, any f any clip anywhere in the sequencer and get the same result or any amount of clips. Let's say I wanted, for some reason, I wanted, you know, this section of the song. Hit grab w grab what I want. Hit Command L, and let the loop set itself. It's really slick, very nice. And in a live setting. Um, you can do this on the fly. Um, let's say before you hit your ending, things are just going uh, really well, and you don't want you don't want to end yet. Um, reach over, click your bridge block, hit Command L while in while you're playing live, and your loop is already set, is already on. If not, you know, simply hit the L for the keyboard shortcut to turn loop on. Um, and let that loop for as long as you want. And when you're finally ready to end, hit the L uh, one last time and let that cursor play through the right loop marker to the end of the song and finish out in a more uh, custom way to uh, your worship setting. So there you have it. Loops part two can be summed up with one trick, Command L. I hope this helps and stay tuned for more Reason tutorial videos from praisecharts.com.